Oh, what is up, everyone? This is Hours with WCReplace.com, bringing you an audio commentary. It's my first audio, so let me know how I do. Let's go ahead and get the replay loaded and paused at the one minute mark at the 1x speed with Fog of War unchecked. We got two good players, two human players on Lost Temple. We got purple and we got pink. And the purple guy we're going to call Myth, and the pink guy we're going to call Sky. I hope that's okay. Uh, I prefer if you watch from Sky's point of view because we're going to cover some things that Sky does that you're not going to be able to see unless you're watching from his vision. So that's the plan. And also, while you're getting synced up, please remember that the audio commentary is copyrighted by WCReplace.com, 2005, all rights are reserved. If you don't like it, don't tell me. I don't really know what's going on. Tell Freak, because if you're going to bitch at anybody at the site, you should bitch at Freak, because that's, that's what he's there for, okay? Very good. And I think he kind of enjoys it. He takes it like a man, and we love him for it. So, uh, I hope you're ready. I'm ready to go. Let's get the show on the road. If you're not ready, get ready. If you are ready, we're going to unpause. And three, two, one, go. You can plainly see the myth has spawned in the north position, and Sky has spawned in the west position of the map. I'm not going to so much shout cast the match as I am going to cover strategies and thinking. And uh, we're going to gloss over a lot of the, the fighting stuff. You know, which, um, which you may or may not like. So, like I said, let me know. But uh, this is the way I'm going to cover this game. There's quite a few points I want to touch on, and I hope I get them all in. But you see, both players are going Archmage, and Myth is uh, going to get the initiative here and send out a Militia Scout first. And when it comes in and Sky sees it, he could safely assume that Myth is in the north position, and of course, of course, fortunately for Myth, he has decided to scout in the correct direction. He's going to see Sky. But um, uh, Sky will know where Myth is also because uh, it's a militia. If uh, Myth had been in the eastern position and sent a militia scout out to the north north position first and then to the western position, uh, it would be peasant. The, the militia would have timed out by then. So uh, Sky, if he was paying attention, he knows where Myth is, and he was paying attention because he's going to go harass as soon as he's just done uh, creeping his expansion and uh, see both players are going to creep their expansions and they're both going to let the water elementals tank the damage from the creeps so no real units take any permanent damage we all understand the logic behind that right and myth is going to go ahead and build a scout farm right on the edge of sky's uh, spawn position which is pretty slick and that's going to be able to provide you know great in intel on what his uh, opponent's up to and where his uh, army's heading and things like that. So uh, awesome move there by Myth. You see Sky is getting uh, the jump. Uh, he's uh, got both item drops and he's going to run his army away while his militia you know, finished uh, uh, finish up the, the camp, finished creeping there. And it's going to save him a little bit of time while he goes up. He knows where Myth is and he's going to try to harass his base. And he knows if, if Myth is there, and he is, uh, He's got a way better position than Sky does uh, for fast expansion, so he wants to go over there and check it as fast as possible because it's uh, it's a pretty decent position for fast expansion, so he doesn't want to allow that to happen. So the harass is on. Myth is really great about bringing in his militia. You want your militia to be backed up by real fighting units because they die really easily on their own. So if, if you wait until all your stuff is dead and then bring in your militia, um, that's not using them to their full effectiveness. They need to be supported. And so if you bring them in as a last ditch effort, you're going to lose a lot, a lot of them and you probably aren't going to save your base anyway. So bring them in while you still have units left and they should be supported and you're going to get the most out of them when you do that if they can't be focused easily. You know what I mean? So uh, That's... That might be obvious, it might not be, but that's something I wanted to touch on. So, you see, Skies positioned himself right between Myth and his expansion. He doesn't want to allow him to get an expansion off. So, uh, Myth wants to go off and creep. Sky's not going to allow that to happen. He's going to keep constant pressure on Myth. Myth has began teching. Sky has not. Sky is going to go ahead and try to get an expansion up instead. But Myth has built a scout farm. This is something else I wanted to touch on. And Myth has built two scout farms so far, like right next to his opponent. So you could you could say they're going to die. You, he really won't want to depend on those for food because they're going to die. And if he's depending on those for food, then it's going to suck because when they get killed, then he's going to lose that food and he's going to have to build more farms to compensate, right? So you would could say that these farms are being used solely for scouting purposes. Is that economic? 
economically sound? Sure, we could argue that. Um, in fact, Sky does have Sentry Wards. He got those as a drop. If you were to buy Sentry Wards at a marketplace shop, I think they cost more than 200 gold, and you get two charges, right? And that's kind of a moot point on solo matches because I don't think there's any marketplace uh, maps left on ladder, not for right now anyway. So you can you can only buy them in team games and only when you creep the right camps also. But uh, so they cost money though, and you can buy them on certain maps. And farms cost less. Uh, set rewards don't cost any lumber, but they cost more gold. Whereas two farms in Frozen Throne cost 160 gold, 40 lumber. And that's pretty negligible. That's not a very significant amount. So if you want to devote that much resources uh, to just scouting. I say, sure. I say, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. So, if he loses those two farms, I say he's got enough use out of them to, to warrant him spending those resources. And also, uh, his opponent will have to devote a lot of time and energy uh, to kill those farms. It's not just like sentry wards that just disappear. Um, they're going to be there until Sky kills them, pretty much. And so... Uh, myth knows if Sky devotes enough energy and, and units to killing those farms that he plans on expanding there pretty much because if he had better things to do then those units would be somewhere else but if he wants to use that mine he's going to bring units there and kill the farm so even once it's killed Myth knows to keep an eye on that spot to keep a close eye on that spot because uh, his opponent took the time to kill the farm obviously he doesn't want him to see what he's doing right so good looking at it that way if you want to use farms to scout I say it's economically sound, as long as you don't go overboard. So he's got two, it's a good amount. He could probably go for a third and fourth uh, in different spots of the map if he wanted to, and still not really, you know, lose them, lose uh, any kind of economic edge that he might gain, or or put himself at a disadvantage rather too. But you see, right now, since Myth has foregone um, the uh, opportunity to fast expand, he's got a a definite tech advantage. He's got a second hero out, a Mountain King, while Sky isn't even finished teching his tier 2 yet. And he's got really nothing to show for it. He wasn't able to get an expansion up. Um, and he's behind. He's definitely behind. But Sky was doing an awesome job of uh, making sure he's healing his foots at the fountain in the middle of the map during the nighttime. He's moving them away because now it's daytime. The creeps are going to wake up. But he's taking those foots that were healed up. Um, he's going to uh, waypoint harass uh, what will soon become Myth's expansion while microing the other portion of his army. So uh, he's splitting up uh, Myth's like, mental capacity because even though he's waypointing those foots, he's not going to have to micro them, whereas Myth will have to... Um, he can't waypoint and defend. He's got to defend. He's got a micro to defend. But uh, you see, now that his attention is split up, Sky is able to surround the Mountain King back at the main base while Myth is tr trying to fend off those foots at the expansion. So it's like he's... It's... It, it, if I could convince you guys you can get hero kills uh, from using waypoints, I mean, you do it, right? Well, there's proof right there. If you use waypoints effectively, you're going to be way ahead of the game because lots of people don't know how to use waypoints, and they're not in practice. You know, they don't. Uh, they just. It's. It's not an easy thing to do. It does take practice, and a lot of people don't take the time to do it. And it's not insane micro. It's just using the way, using the controls of the game the way they were intended to be used. So and see, he's able to get a hero kill not because it's like he had like a 300 APM for that minute, you know, it's like because he's using waypoints and that's not a hard thing to do. It just takes planning and uh, takes a you know a cool head and takes a little bit of thinking and, and uh, knowing that they're available. So there you go, um, you guys get hero kills if you waypoint and harass. He was able to split up portions of his army and and um, his opponent had to split up his thinking between. You know, two different areas, whereas Sky just has the illusion that he's applying this pressure, but really, Waypoints is just letting the computer take control uh, while he focuses on another portion of the map. So you could Waypoint and harass while you uh, build more stuff at your base, or you could Waypoint and harass while you're creeping, or things like that, or you could Waypoint and creep while you're harassing, or vice versa, you know, all that good stuff. So there you go. And I see um, Sky is killing off the farm of Myth, so now Myth saw that the town hall was going up he knows that he needs to get down there pronto so he's going to have to fend off uh, Sky's forces and get down there fast which is what he's going to do and of course Sky also knows that Myth is getting his expansion up so each player knows what the other is up to so they're